Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 88, writing common and decimal fractions for tenths and measuring to the tenth of a centimeter. So here I have this number line and if I want to label each mark on the number line, in this case it's going to be by tenths because there are ten tick marks in between the zero and the one. So we'd have one tenth, two tenth, three tenth, all the way up. until we get to nine-tenths. Okay, and then of course I would continue with one and one-tenth, one and two-tenths, etc. Now the fractions from one-tenth to nine-tenths are called common fractions. And there's something special about tenths. So mathematicians have an, another way to write tenths that many people think is faster and easier. And we write them as decimal fractions. So we would have one tenth is the same as 0 0.1. Zero, 0 decimal place 1. 2 tenths is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. 0 0.6, I'm writing them bigger so it's easier to see them, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then we'd have 1.0 for, for 1, and then 1 tenths would be 1.1, 1 .1. or and then 1.2, 1 1.3, etc. Now, the part from 1 tenth to 9 tenths, or 0 0.1 to 0 0.9, those are called decimal fractions, or we just call them decimals. Okay. You can only write these decimal fractions for tenths. Decimal fractions are written with a decimal point followed by the numerator of the common fraction. Okay. So here I have six tenths. Six tenths would be the same as zero decimal place and then the numerator, six. Okay. Two tenths would be zero decimal two. And seven tenths would be zero decimal seven. So what about 2.3? We would, so like I said, we would read this as 2.3. Mathematicians read this as two and three tenths. Because remember, the, the point three, or the decimal point in three, is three tenths. The word and is the decimal point. We always say the word and when we have a decimal. Okay? So, th when we say, see this one, we would say this is three and, remember the decimal is and, seven tenths. Okay, so we'd say 3 and 7 tenths, or 3.7. Right. So here I've got three different lines, and I want to measure how long they are in centimeters. Now remember, each centimeter is divided up by 10 millimeters. Okay, there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So instead of measuring line segments in centimeters and then adding those extra millimeters, we can measure them using tenths of a centimeter. So let's look at line ST. Okay. So we can see here that line ST is the same as seven centimeters, so it'd be seven, and then we would say that it is and how many tenths? One, two, three, four. So it would be seven and four tenths centimeters. Or before we would say this was cent seven centimeters plus four millimeters. But now we can just write it as a decimal, 7.4, or seven and four tenths. So let's look at line X, W, X. Okay, so we go up and we see that it's nine. So we have nine, and we find the decimal, so that's five, six, seven. So it would be 9 and 7 tenths. 
because there's seven place values in. Okay, and then our final line, which is this really little one. So this one is before the one. So we would say that this is zero centimeters, and then we still have our decimal. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'd be eight tenths centimeters. All right. Now here, if I know the lengths of two segments in a or uh, two segments, I can find the length of the longer segment. So here I have A, B, C. And let's say that I know that length A, B is 5.2 centimeters and B, C is 4.4 centimeters. To find the length of the whole line, I can add these together. So I would do 5 and 2 tenths or 5.2 and then four and four tenths. When we add decimals, make sure that the decimal point lines up because that helps us line up our other place values. Okay, so we would do two plus four is six. Bring our decimal point comes straight down and five plus four is nine. So the length of that line is a total of nine and six tenths. So now we're going to measure D, E, and E, F. So I take my ruler and we see that D, E is 2.5 centimeters. And E, F is 6.5 centimeters. Or 6 point, yeah, 6.5. So I'm going to add these together to find the length of DF, or the whole line. So we have 2.5, or 2 and 5 tenths, plus 6 and 5 tenths. So decimal comes straight down. 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 6 is 9. So the whole line is 9.0, or 9 centimeters. Okay, so that is how we write and measure lines to the centimeter. Thanks for watching.